Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Texas Podcast. I am your host, Gabe, and today we will be talking about the Battle of Refugio. The Battle of Refugio was fought from March 12th through the 15th, 1836, near Refugio, Texas. It occurred during the Texas Revolution at the Nuestra Señora de Refugio Mission in Refugio County. In early March 1836, Carlos de la Garza and 80 rancheros serving as scouts in advance cavalry from Mexican General Jose de Reyes' invading army raided the village of Refugio. On March 10th, during the Goliad campaign of 1836, James W. Fannin Jr. sent Eamon B. King and 28 men to Refugio to help the families besiege their escape to Goliad, knowing that their destination lay in the path by which the main Mexican force under Urrea was expected on daily. On March 12th, before leaving Refugio, King stubbornly sought to punish Garza and his rancheros. He underestimated Garza's strength and resolve. However, he f- was forced to retreat with the families back to the mission. That is where he took refuge and sent word to Fanon at Goliad for help. It were proved to be a disastrous move. Fanon dispatched Lieutenant Colonel William Ward and the Georgia Battalion, together with some of Peyton S. White's men, to relieve King's command. Ward and some 120 men successfully laid the siege in the afternoon of March 13th. Nevertheless, as John J. Lynn wrote, a difference of opinion arose between the two commanders in relation to the command which seemed irreconcilable, as they could not be coerced into a concert of action, even by the perils that threatened them both so imminently. With both commanders quarreling over rank, yet anxious for a fight, the Texan force divided. Some of Ward's men went with King on a punitive mission against the rancheros. And while they were out, Urea and his main force of 115 men surrounded Ward's party at the mission. When King attempted to return to the mission, he came upon the rear of Urea's army and was forced to make a stand in the timber of the Mission River within sight of Ward's command. The troops held their ground valiantly from late morning to dark. March 14th, while Ward withstood several vigorous assaults, Mexican losses were heavy. The Texans suffered few casualties, but were short of food, water, and ammunition. Ward was sent. Ward sent James Humphreys to Goliad to advise Fannin, who finally got word to Ward through Edward Perry to retreat to Victoria, where they were where they were to rendezvous. Volunteers were left with the wounded and the families, and Ward apparently left the mission with the remainder of his battalion on the night of March 14th and traveled in the direction of Capano through the woods and swamps to avoid the Mexican cavalry. King's company also tried to escape during the night, but were overtaken on March 15th and marched back as prisoners to the mission, which was now occupied by Urea's forces. The next day, the next day, those remaining from Ward's battalion, together with King and all his company, were executed, except for two Germans and Luis T. Ayers, who was spared with local families by the German-born Lieutenant Colonel Juan Jose Holsinger. Ward's men managed to reach Victoria, but finding the village occupied by Aurea's troops continued their retreat to Dimmit's Landing, where they were surrounded by Aurea. Except for those details as laborers to build boats at Victoria, they were marched back to La Bahia, where they were executed in the Goliad Massacre with Fannin's men on March 27, 1836. Though the Battle of Refugio is one of the less known engagements of the Texas Revolution, its consequences are so significant. Fannin disastrously split his forces by ordering King and Ward into the path of Urea's army, a move that reduced about 150 the number of men he was able to bring to bear against the Mexican army at the Battle of Calido Creek. King and Ward, whose quarrel over rank divided their own small force, refused to return to Goliad before engaging Mexican troops. This prevented their rejoining with Fannin, thereby delaying Fannin's retreat to Victoria. A delay that contributed to his defeat at the Battle of Calido Creek and resulted as well in the Texas misfortune in the Battle of Refugio and the execution of King's men. Most historians have judged the entire episode as folly. The clash of stubborn personalities, together with their contempt for the prowess of the Mexican army, reduced Fannin's wards and King's effectiveness, contributing to their defeat and to the calamity of the Goliad Massacre. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.